A review of Bronze Age Total War, the mod for Rome Total War. The Bronze Age is a period that many think will not ever be tackled in the mainline Total War series. Of course, technically, Total War Saga Troy is a game based on a Bronze Age conflict, but it does have several fantasy elements and is not completely focused on the historical aspects of the time period. Well, luckily, we have the Bronze Age mod for the original Rome Total War to help show us the potential of the time period and the region. Let's get into it. The setting. The campaign begins in 1290 BC, when there were several international powers competing and cooperating with each other throughout the Middle East. The most important powers at the time are featured, including New Kingdom Egypt, Kassite Babylonia, the Hittite Empire, the weakened Mitanni, the upstart Middle Assyrian Kingdom, and the powerful Elamites. There are also other interesting factions included, including the Confederation of the Nairi around Lake Van, the Kashka tribes in Pontus and Bechiria, the Artsawans, and even the Trojans, known in Hittite as Wilusha. All of these factions are fleshed out in Bronze Age, and they all offer a different kind of challenge. The powerful established factions, such as the Kassites and the Egyptians, are strong and have many cities. Other factions, such as the Nairi Confederation, are small and have to expand and consolidate their territories before they can think of challenging the large kingdoms around them. The economy system in Bronze Age is pretty tough. It is difficult to maintain large armies as well as garrisons, and you'll find yourself fighting decisive battles often. You won't be able to spam armies of troops in this mod, especially if you're playing as a smaller faction. I like this aspect of the mod, as in this period a kingdom could not really sustain multiple defeats on the battlefield without either collapsing or losing significant territory in the process. Bronze Age is not perfect in all aspects in terms of immersion. Much of the 2D art remains the same as vanilla Rome Total War, including the character portraits. I do wish we had gotten some unique character portraits, since the depictions of the time are stylistic and interesting. Egypt, of course, can simply continue to use the vanilla Rome Egyptian portraits since they were seemingly designed for this period anyway. The music for the mod is also well done. There are horde factions as well, including the nomads of the Syrian desert and the Sea Peoples. In the Late Bronze Age, a lot of the civilizations faced pressure on all sides, with environmental problems, natural disasters, famine, trade breakdowns, internal rebellions, and nomadic incursions. These pressures combined caused most of the kingdoms featured in Bronze Age Total War to collapse around the turn of the 12th century BC. Mitanni fell to Assyria, Kassite Babylon collapsed due to internal conflict and Elamite invasions, Ugarit collapsed due to a Sea People invasion, the Hittites collapsed probably due to a combination of all these factors, Mycenaean Greece was all but wiped out by invaders. The upheaval had a profound impact on the development of several of these civilizations. Greece entered a so-called Dark Age. Babylon was ruled by a succession of kings that ranged from decent to fairly weak. Egypt's new kingdom collapsed. Only Assyria and Elam remained major contenders in this period, and the Nairi consolidated and formed the strong kingdom of Urartu north of Assyria. The Battles the battles in Bronze Age are very interesting. Of course, cavalry was not really a factor in this time period, while chariots were. It is important to be able to use chariots effectively in this mod, which differentiates it from a lot of other mods. In the two mods I recently reviewed, Chivalry Total War about the medieval era, and Invasio Barbarorum about the late Roman Empire, elite cavalry units often dominate the battlefield. You don't have that luxury in Bronze Age, and you have to make sure you don't get your chariots stuck in melee. They will be destroyed. They are devastating weapons, however, and if used correctly can cause a mass rout of the enemy very quickly. The combat in Bronze Age feels very different from other mods, and for this I applaud it. 
The modders were able to use the Rome Total War engine to capture the warfare of the Bronze Age as best as possible. A lot of people get upset when the battles in Total War are limited in any way by the period. This goes for Total War Saga Troy as well. The lack of cavalry makes skirmishing and chariot management more important, and it doesn't bother me personally. As a historical player who enjoys when the game is as faithful to the period as possible, I don't have a problem with this approach and players can definitely adapt to the constraints of the period. Conclusion Bronze Age Total War puts the spotlight on a time period that has been ignored by the Total War series so far, with the partial exception of Total War Saga Troy, which treats the period as a semi-Iliad-inspired fantasy. Its focus on the ancient Near East is extremely important in my opinion, as Total Wars in general overlook the Middle East, with the exception of Rome II, which gave the Near East a pretty good attention to detail, all things considered. While the mod is great, its greatest achievement is to show all the untapped potential that lies in the ancient Near East. While the Bronze Age scenario is great, and we get to play as great kingdoms like the Mitanni and the Hittites, there is so much more that can be done with the eras of the ancient Near East. For example, there can be a Sumerian Warring States period beginning in 2400 BC, which can also be called the Rise of Sargon campaign. There can be a Rise of Hammurabi campaign that is based on the warring Amorite states, such as Babylon, Eshnunna, Ekalatum, Larsa, Mari, and others. There can be a late period campaign based on the Neo-Assyrian Empire and the kingdoms of Babylon, Urartu, Elam, Judea, etc. There are just so many options, and the possibilities are incredible. I highly recommend that people try Bronze Age Total War, even if they aren't particularly fans of the era, because it tries its best at portraying a very interesting period of conflict that is a bit outside the mainstream consciousness. If you are not a fan of Bronze Age warfare and absolutely need to have heavy cavalry in your armies, then this mod will not be for you. But if you have an open mind about the period, you'll have a lot of fun. Give it a shot and leave feedback for the team.